Hello and welcome back. This week I was digging around again on the Internet Archive and I found something that was interesting to me because I have a couple of these lovely items here. These are not original Motorola 68Ks, but they are clones or, you know, of the uh, 68K CPU. And I've got two of them and I've basically never really, other than free running them, I've never done anything with them, and I was really interested in at some point doing some type of assembly language programming with them. But what really interested me is recently I have come across, um, again while digging around on the, um, on the Internet Archive, I have found... Um, various computer magazines and like I said before Dr. Dobbs was one of the more popular um, things that I used to uh, use back in the day. Uh, Dr. Dobbs is a programming related um, magazine and it had a fair few amount of things about the Motorola 68K. Now there's lots of things for how to program it, but what, what interested me was um, back in this edition of the Dr. Jobs Journal, uh, they talked about a 60 cross assembler. Now, what was interesting to me was that this fellow um, had decided that he was going to write up a better mnemonic system or instruction set for the um, 6800. Um, now it's not this bit. Um, let me just find it. Okay, lots of scrolling, but I eventually found it. Now he wrote up a simplified set of mnemonics for this in order to reduce the instruction set. Now what I was curious about was did W.D. Mauer at George Washington University ever get his simplified assembler? Because there are lots of um, programs that use the Motorola set, but I just wonder if somebody ever wrote um, this simplified mnemonics set. And so, you know, rather than use these crazy registers here, but just have them A through S, which was, you know, be very simplified. Um, and you can see that it is quite a significant bit less wordy, his mnemonic set. Now, I have written a uh, assembler for my 8-bit computer, which I subsequently destroyed, but the assembler that I wrote was actually a cross-assembler because it didn't run natively on the 8-bit CPU that I wrote. But, and I wrote it in Rust, which wouldn't run on an 8-bit CPU anyway. And I doubt if there's a rust, although there might be, for the 6800 chip. I'm just wondering if it would, if anybody had ever written this, because I think it would be an interesting programming exercise. If you're interested in writing an assembler, this, or rather a cross assembler, this would be really interesting because he's basically done all the hard work of the definition for each of the mnemonics in this table here. Uh, and you've got all the instructions. So, if somebody was looking for a programming exercise, this would be a good one. And this would be quite a heavy task, I think. I mean, I, I spent a fair amount of time working on my assembler and um, I, would hesitate to jump in and do this one. 
but it does look interesting. This is interesting for me to write an assembler for this for the 68k using this. Now it might be that this was actually implemented and written because I mean this was in 1982 this was written. So I do wonder if WD is possibly still at George Washington University uh, or retired or around uh, or if anybody knows if this was actually um, completed as an assembler. I did have a brief look around and I couldn't really find anything um, where somebody said that this would had been completed. Um, so if anybody's aware if there has been a compiler ever written for this um, let me know in the comments or if you have some idea of maybe doing this again let me know I'd be really interested in watching somebody do this uh, or seeing this done based on um, WD's um, instruction set all right just a quick one that was it um, again just digging through all of the internet archives for all of the old um, old retro computer stuff that's available out there so I'm just gonna stick this out this um, video quickly it's not gonna be long I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it if you like these sort of videos please comment like um, and share it around and but importantly comment and let me know that you like this sort of um, stuff uh, and I'll keep looking around and searching through and doing it otherwise um, you know otherwise I'll find some other content um, but let me know if you're interested thanks again for watching I do appreciate it if you'd like to support me or you find the stuff I do interesting please have a look at my books um, I write fiction and nonfiction and you can check my publishing website at xgipublishing.com and if you like some of the books um, you know follow the links and have a read and you know buy them from Amazon or Kobo or Apple Books or Barnes and Nobles they're available all over the place right thank you very much for watching see you soon